Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the sum or to calculate the sum in Power BI with a filter, but we're not only going to just do sum, we're also going to do min, max, and average. So let me show you this. First, we're going to start off with we've got the data set that we're using is publicly available. It's called the Mispriced Diamonds data set. It's publicly available on the internet. Just go on Google and type in Mispriced Diamonds data set. It's got your carrot clarity price and so on of diamonds. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to click on this calculated field right here. All you have to do to create one is right click here, hit new measure or new column. So if I click on target diamonds right here, let's select that. It'll eventually populate over here. There it goes. And we've got target diamonds equals calculate sum of mispriced diamonds data set updated, which is this, the, the data right here, new price which is what we're using is the new price. And it's updated again, listed it again as the carrot. And then so I'm doing is I'm filtering based on the carrot greater than or equal to 0 0.5. So what that means is any of these 0 0.23, 0 0.29, 0 0.31s, I don't want those. I'm just showing an example, it could be anything. But in this case, I'm picking the carrot field and I don't want anything less than 0 0.5. So I got greater than or equals to 0 0.5. And you can see it right there. That's how you put in the, the calculate field for that. Calculate then sum. Then you're going to put the uh, the field that you want, new price, right? So that's what I have here. And then I'm filtering based off of carrot. Okay, it could be off of clarity. It could be off of anything. Now clarity I could not use because that's actually text, SI2, SI1, stuff like that. I'm actually wanting to use a uh, mathematical or a numeric field, so that's what I'm using here is carrot. Carrot, as you can see here, is all like 0 0.3, 1, stuff like that. So that's how that uh, formula is right there. And then you check it, hit the checkbox, and it's good. Hit close, and that gives you the sum of it. Now, if I go in here and I look at new price or I look at target diamonds, I've got new price, but on this side, what I'm doing is this is no criteria, full data set on this side, right? So this is the whole thing. That's what's in the data set. This is all the columns in the data set, except for maybe a few. If there's something in there, I don't know that. Oh, I've got a couple of calculated fields in there, but that's it. Um, this side is where I have the criteria that I am. I don't know why this keeps popping up here. Let's get rid of that. Remove that. So anyway, this, this side here, I want 0 0.5 carat size or larger. That's the criteria, minimum of 0 0.5. So you can see here, the difference is I have, these are um, these fields right here, which are your cards, right? So that, that I could use cards or a uh, multi-row card, but I'm using cards and these show me the minimum, average, and max, and the count, right? So on this side, let's start with the count. I have the full data set. I have 53.94 or 53.94 thousand of these diamonds, right? But once I input the constraint of the filter on the uh, sum with the sum based on greater than or equal to 0 0.5 carats, I've got 36.27 thousand. See the difference? So I've lost, and it's okay, it's, it's good. I've lost these guys, I've removed them that are less than 0 0.5 carats. And now I'm going to show you also, I've got minimum of carat, maximum of carat, and average carat. So that gives me the full gist of the data I'm looking at, right? So I've got the number, but I need to have here, I've got 0 0.20 is the smallest, right? So once I input that filter, it's no longer there. I have 0 0.5. So to get that for here, I have to calculate the minimum carat, same formula, except instead of sum, I'm going to use min. See this? and you rename it something else, min carat of target diamond. So calculate minimum min of mispriced diamond set updated carat. And then I've got filter, I'm filtering it by target diamonds of greater than or equal to 0 0.5. So remember this was in the sum, I created the, this target diamond. So I'm filtering based off that because I don't want to filter off new price. Because if I filter off new price, I'm still filtering off the full data set, right? So I want the minimum, not of this, because that'll give me you know, a number like 0 0.2. I don't want that. I want the minimum of this now. So I'm, fo I'm focused on the new field, which I brought in with a sum calculated field. And so when I put that in, 
you can see it right here then I have um, it figured out based off of 0 0.5 see that minimum of carrots 0 0.2 0 0.5 now let's go some a little bit farther let's look at the average of carrot right so the average of this one is just an average field right so I just have to put average if I were to click on this I can just go in here and select average right here that's very simple same with the minimum over here right minimum you got min max and average in here and so I don't have to worry about it because I don't have any filters hooked up to it yet now over here I do so I can't use those so I have to actually use a calculated column for min max max is the same way See that same thing except the difference is instead of min here it says max it's got a different name max carrot of target diamonds same exact thing and then I've got average for the average one right so average if I click this again now we've got average calculate I got the C's wrong there let's just make it a calculate C that's fine and uh, we've got calculate average of that filter greater than or equal to 0 0.5 so when I click off of this and I'm over here I have a minimum of 0 0.5 an average of 1.02 and the max is still the same because I did not filter out the maximum. I could have. I could have set a maximum of 4.5, and this would be 4.5 versus 5.01. It's got the same max. The minimum has changed, and then the count of the carrots. Okay, so that shows me that by comparing these, I can clearly see that I have removed 14,000 rows of these diamonds that are smaller than zero point between 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 carrots. So that's basically how you do it in a nutshell. So you got to first get this, which is you're calculating the sum, and you're creating this field called target diamonds, which has this filtered base off of zero, greater than or equal to 0 0.5. Then for the others, average, max, and min, because this one has the sum, I have to figure them based off of that, off of this. Okay. So if I close this and I bring up, let's pick average, it doesn't matter. They're all the same average calculate average of the carrots based off of the target diamonds greater than 0 0.5 target diamonds is this calculated field that we created with the song so i hope you found this interesting informational i'll post the uh, uh logic or the uh calculated formulas inside this video to make it easier for you to uh, copy them or use them i hope you found this interesting informational Take a, the time to go look at the other great videos on my channel and have a great day. Thank you.